Hey everyone, as always, thanks for tuning in. So we've got some new features for Pixelcade LCD users, firmware version six. So the first feature is USB connectivity. This will make your Pixelcade LCD a lot more plug and play by just connecting over USB. The second feature is how to set your default marquee. That's now fully integrated and much more user-friendly in Pixelcade Companion. Pixelcade and Companion's got some other features like logs and auto detection of sub displays. And then we've got, lastly, some in-game effects with Doflinks, which I highly recommend you turn on. Got some pretty cool effects for you here as well. So before we only supported network, which sometimes that was problematic. Like if your Wi-Fi changed, you'd have to redo the Wi-Fi and could be a pain in the butt. So now USB, it's much more plug and play. So if you've got a newer Pixel cage, you'll see a purple board like this. This is the USB connector you want. Um, and then it's, a, it's what's called a USB 8A cable. So the, the both ends of the cable look like this. Um, you can't use this USB connector, by the way. This is only, this will only work for like a flash drive. Gotta use this one over here. Now, if you have the DIY Pixelcade, uh, then you just have an orange pie board like this. You don't have the purple board. Uh, reach out, we can sell you the purple board or actually have a few of these cables left. This may be more convenient. You just pop this in here. And then from here, you go to a USB 8A cable. And here you go your USB power to power the board. So that's another option. We have both of these uh, if you want, if you want the DIY route, or if you've got an older Pixelcade, then you'd want to get this guy from us. So, um, yeah, so like I said, this is much more plug and play. Definitely recommend it. You can have both USB connectivity and Wi-Fi or Ethernet going at the same time. Why would you want to do that? So if you want to access your Pixelcade from any computer on your network, like you want to manage artwork or run Pixelcade Companion, then you do want network connectivity so it can be on your network and other computers can see it. If you don't care about that, then, then yeah, just hook up the USB, uh, much more plug and play, and away you go. All right, so let me just show you how the Pixelcade software looks for the new LCD. Uh, and by the way, the Pixelcade software is unified now. So if you have an LED Pixelcade, that will work on the same software. Um, but if you only have LCD, no problem. It will look for LED and then look for LCD. So see here, it found the direct connection to your USB LCD. So that's how you know you've got USB connectivity. All right, so go ahead and run Pixelcade Companion. Go ahead and click on your Pixelcade. That will launch a web browser like this. And then go ahead and go to Set Default Marquee. Hit Upload. Let's go ahead and upload the image that we created. And you'll then see it here. It's not going to show the thumbnail, so that's normal. Just go ahead and click it. And then let's go ahead and do a restart. And once it restarts, you will then see that default marquee. So here's a few new features in Pixelcade LCD version six. So if you go to device settings and log, we also we now show the versions. You can see here I'm on version six. You can also see the artwork version. And then if you happen to have connected sub displays, those will show up here as well. Uh, let me go ahead and scroll down a little bit. Um, these are various settings. These are, that was there already. And then also we have the log. So this is really helpful. So if you need to troubleshoot something, uh, get some support, just go to this log, copy and paste, post this in our Discord, and that's super helpful. Um, this log will update every five seconds. So if you're running this from another computer, you can actually see the log go in every five seconds near real time. So those are some new features of Pixelcade Companion in version 6. All right, let's try a Galaga out. Okay, so this is new. You'll see this insert coin here. That's coming from the thing called the main output. So I'll put in a coin. Tells me player one is ready. And I'll hit start. Got my stage. 
And so you can see there's actually a lot of stuff going on here. So I've got a real-time score right here. That's if you've got the pixelk dot display. And then I actually have real-time stats right here on the mini OLED display. And if you've got a mini LCD, it will look like this. So you can have the mini LCD or the mini OLED. You can't have both. Um, I recommend the mini LCD because it's easier to see. Then you get stats like this here as well in between each stage. I've got some stats that are appearing there as well while I'm playing. And updated stats. Um, some of the games have levels as well that'll display on, I think Tempest is one of them. So let's show you that one. Okay, same thing with your insert coin. Okay. All right, so as I clear this level, you should see like level, level show up here. Just like that. Same thing here for level three. I think we also did, let's see. This one, I think, supports the levels, too. Yeah, the stage. So we try to make it specific to the game, if it's level, stage, parsec, whatever the, the word that the game used, we, we customize that by game. All right, so this is stage two, yep. So that's that one. Um, I think we did Galaga 88, I'm not sure, let's check. So we got stats on Galaga 88. That's pretty cool. And then of course we got the live running scores there in real time on the Pixel K dot display if that's something you have. Okay, so let's insert a coin. And so that's pretty cool. It'll show you the real-time stats on Duck Hunt as well on your LCD. We'll just keep playing here. Can't have a Pixelcade video without Gorf, my personal favorite game. Alright, so with Gorf, as you can see, we did another integration to where it's going to show the level you're at. So right now I'm on Space Cadet, and as I go through the game, that will change as I move to the next rank in Gorf. And here's just an example. So this game doesn't have any LCD effects, but if you have the Pixel K dot display here, you'll get 
uh, real-time score, which is kind of cool. Right here. We do from time to time update the DOFLINKS effects files. So here's how to get the latest and greatest. So just go over to your Pixelcade folder, scroll down a little bit, click on update DOFLINKS main files, and that will get you the latest effects. So to get all this, you will need the latest version of the Pixelcade software and your Pixelcade LCD firmware. So the first thing you need to do is go over to the pixelcade.org site, hit download, go to the Windows link, and just grab the latest Pixelcade software. And the reason why you need to get this is because on that Pixelcade software, there's a new version of the updater which will update your firmware. So that's, what, that's why you need that one. So I've, I've gone ahead and already installed it. So what you want to do here is just go here, go to Pixelcade, and click on the Pixelcade LCD artwork and firmware updater. Now in my case, my Pixelcade is on the network. So I'm going to go ahead and, and up, do an update over the network. Um, your Pixelcade may be over uh, USB which is totally fine. This updater also works uh, if you're connected on USB. So either way is, is, is okay. And it's just gonna run, it's gonna check your firmware version. In this case, I already have the latest firmware, so it's not gonna do anything. But just let that run, you'll actually see some messages on, on your Pixelcade LCD as well telling you what's happening. So that's how you run the updater.